Anna Schultz. We're filming the first section of her new food column for Slink magazine, which is very exciting. So, hi Anna. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm very happy, I've cooked a lot. Mm. So tell us a little bit about the food column, what we're going to learn from you. I mean, I know I'm always really inspired when I see your Instagram feed. So tell me a little bit about what you're going to be doing for us. Well, I've just become really interested in nutrition and then into looking after myself. I think as soon as I turned 40, I realised how important it is to kind of look after your health. And I strongly believe that you can be curvy and very healthy at the same time. So all those people out there who try to tell us that we're promoting something but health, I just want to prove them wrong. And I think... All my posts on Instagram about my cooking get a lot of reactions from people. So I think there's a lot of curvy women who, out there who are interested in cooking and in food. And they always ask me for my recipes. So I want to share them with your readers. Excellent. I mean, I know I'm really excited because I do <laughs> always see your food face. And I think, oh, what's Anna making now? And I know when I post about things I've bought that I don't know what to do with. I'm waiting for your info. <laughs> so what's the first, what's the first column? What's the first things that you've done for us? Well, I've just tried to do, get a few recipes together and I've cooked some of my favourite staples, like some salmon with teriyaki sauce, some Asian flavours on a whole grain couscous bed with leek and some spring onions. So that's something I make very regularly, which is very good and very light. I sometimes serve it not with couscous, but just with a superfood salad. So I often want to introduce as many healthy elements into the, the food I'm cooking as possible. So I added some blueberries, which are great antioxidants. I've added some beetroot and some spinach and some avocado. So I'm going to introduce some superfoods to the column as well and let you know, you know, why they're so good for you. Amazing. And how did you start to learn about different foods and what was good for you? Because there's so much information out there. I think it can be quite overwhelming so you know do you have any go-to resources or well I love James Dugan I think his clean and lean diet book is really really good and I know people hate the word diet and I'm not you know wanting people to lose weight but I'm really against people buying lots of ready meals and eating lots of crap and I think we're all guilty if we're in a rush yeah. to kind of quickly go somewhere and eat something you have to be quite organized if you want to look after yourself and if you don't want to be you know, tempted by the nearest bag of crisps or chocolate bars. So I always have little pots of nuts in my pocket or I, you know, have some fruit with me in, in the office or I eat lots of oat cakes with like nut butter and it actually satisfies my cravings a lot more. So I read and I test it out on myself and from my reaction. I mean, I'm not a nutritionist and I don't, you know, want to preach to people. I just want to inspire them. Sometimes it's sad, you know, I kind of, I get more reaction to a new dish than I do to a new dress. Do you know what? I find this when I can put up the prettiest picture of a girl in the world and everyone wants to know what I've had for dinner. But I think, I think that's the thing, you know, people relate a lot to food and we're always, people are always looking for ways to be healthier and to eat better. So I think this is a really great way to kind of bring people in to that idea as well. Absolutely. And I, you know, wanted to make some classic English dishes, so upcoming in the future I'm going to have a cottage pie but a little bit healthier cottage pie so I use like sweet potato instead of normal potato just because it's better for you and I think you can still enjoy food a lot and cook something quick and nutritious. So is it all about kind of small changes and small healthy changes and trying to find those good foods for you? Yes I don't want anybody to be a martyr or to give up the joy of food because you know food is sensual and it should be fun I think for me, I don't want to be bored with my food, so I'm trying to make all the healthier options as delicious as possible. Sounds like a good plan. I can't wait to start cooking your recipes, and I really hope that you guys will start cooking Anna's food as well at home, and make sure that you tweet and Instagram Anna Schultz and Slink Magazine when you do so that we can see how well you're doing at home. <laughs> I'm excited to get your feedback as well. I think it's always great to see if you try and cook something the same or be creative, you know, add something yourself and I'll be inspired by you.